Hey guys, Jared from Wave to Wave here, and uh, we're outside right now. I apologize, it's really loud, so it's hard to get good audio, so uh, bear with me. But we're going to go inside in a minute and check out the uh, floor that's been glassed in. We'll talk about some big details of that. Um, talk about some next steps too. We're going to flip the boat over and start blueprinting the hull. So we made some choices on paint color and, and that kind of stuff. Um, and then the interior is going to be next, so we're going to you know, decide on the seats. We're going to go with some high back seats, but not too high. We want it sticking above the, uh, the windshield line there. So we're going to measure for that pretty soon. And uh, just a few more details of some of the hardware we got recently. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. Let's go inside. Hey guys, yeah, here. You can see here the, um, the first layer is 2408, second layer is 1708. So if the audio is really bad, it's really loud in here and uh, I'm trying to talk into the microphone. See the cutouts for the fuel tank. Vent and fill. Both can be really solid. It'll be heavy, it won't be the fastest activator out there, but uh, we're going for more of a uh, wave crusher, like we said in the beginning. Might even be heavier than originally, I'm not sure. Really hard to tell how fast this thing will go. That's part of the fun, I guess. So, so far it's been uh, hit with an orbital and we can see some of the areas where I need repair and, and some patching. And then all the edges will be nice and straight and sharp and uh, including the chine, transom edge, all the straight edges, having just yeah, if everything's perfectly straight and sharp, that's what you want. No dips or bows or hooks or anything like that. So we'll take all that out, clean it all up, and then um, prep for the paint, which I said will be a uh, marine single stage black. Almost 100% it's going to go black. And, um, and that'll go uh, nicely with the silver and black on the top side, which will be a two-stage base clear, also marine branded paint. Uh, kind of automotive style I guess you could say but uh, so yeah that'll be the the color scheme with the red upholstery in the interior you look pretty sharp the engine is the 250 GT uh, G2 uh, HO and it's um, yeah the reason why we chose the the Avenue G2 250 HO was a few reasons uh, one is the steering really caught my attention I really want to try it out with the integrated steering in that sort of helix right into the swivel bracket. It's really cool, makes the rigging really clean, and uh, it's supposed to be really, really sharp. So that's one reason. Another reason is um, it's a pretty large displacement, two stroke and that horsepower range, and it's supposed to be just an incredible power. And uh, even though everything else has gone four stroke, the, uh, the G2 actually is still better on gas, so it's more fuel efficient, and it tends to be more fuel efficient at higher RPM as well and it is uh, lower emissions which is not my top priority but it's certainly something to think about and uh, it's the lowest emissions outboard out there in that horsepower range so despite all the criticism of two-stroke technology that's the latest and greatest two-stroke technology it's still quite a bit better in some respects in the marine use uh, compared to the four-stroke so that's going to be interesting i'm a merc guy i've been a merc guy my whole life and uh you know so it's strange for me to to actually get an evanard but you know I'm gonna give it a shot and be kind of fun to try it out. They're really big, so the drawbacks are it is a giant looking engine, but everything seems to be giant now, so that's actually not that big a deal. Uh, the fact that you can actually change the cowling color is very cool too, to me. So uh, we're gonna keep it simple, but down the road you can always change that, so that's kind of neat. And then other than that, we've got a crazy warranty. I think it's like an eight year warranty. So that's another huge selling feature. So that's transferable if we ever sell the boat down the road. It's uh, you know eight years of just worry-free operation which is unbelievable now so our timeline is just I'm not sure yet but hopefully we can get this done within a month and uh, catch the end of summer here it's getting it's still really hot out but it's getting late uh, late August here so hopefully uh, we can get it uh, in the water end of September so a little late uh, but better late than never so anyways subscribe below if you guys can follow the project online wagewave.com on YouTube and uh, share with a friend. If you know someone interested in this kind of project, share it, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.